Sunday, February 28th, 2021. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today reads, Do not fear, for I am with you. Isaiah 43, verse 5. The accompanying doctrinal text is 2 Corinthians 4, verses 8 and 9, and it reads as follows. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Let us pause to reflect on what today's watchword would say to us in this season of Lent. Our watchword today is an assurance to a people in distress, in this case, in exile. But in the midst of their distress, God's word to his people was, Do not fear, for I am with you. God was at pains to point out that whatever their circumstance, whether crossing the river or through the flood or in the midst of fire, he would be there with them. In fact, if you read on in the chapter, the theme seems to be the same, and in verse 19, God declares that he is doing a new thing for his people. We are similarly a people in distress, not in exile, but in pandemic. Amidst this, God's assurance comes that he is with us, and therefore we should not fear. Whilst he seems to not to be taking us out of the situation, he is sure to take us through it, always present for our navigation. With this assurance of God's presence, I urge you to look at your current circumstances with new eyes. Check for the positives in this situation. You may ask what could be positive in a pandemic so grave as this. But I am sure we have become more resilient. You can look for other positives. Count the number of new things you learned because of this pandemic. Give God thanks for your growth and place all concerns in his hands. Perhaps he waits to do a new thing among you and for you. Therefore, do not fear. He is with you. That is the blessed hope which is ours at a time like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the midst of these challenging times, we recognize that you always come to your people. For we recall that you sent Jesus Christ upon this earth when you considered that we had gone too far from you. And so we can be confident as we reflect upon his coming to earth at this time, as we reflect upon his presence here on this earth teaching us and helping us, we can be confident that, as was said to your people in the time of Isaiah, we do not need to fear, for you are with us. And so, Lord, we place ourselves in your hand, confident that your assurance is real that you will go with us through whatever our circumstance. And so, we give you thanks for your presence. We give you thanks 
for your assurance of that presence. We give you thanks for the victory which is ours because of your presence. Therefore, Lord, may we lay all things in your powerful hands so that you may do a new thing, a great thing amongst us and we may experience your victory. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.